Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Actually, I got some valuable insights to share with you. Recently, one of my friend attended Cap Germany interview and he have five years of experience as a Java developer. And in that interview, he faced two Java coding interview questions. And I want to share those interview questions with you so it will be helpful for you for attending uh, interviews in your future. Okay. Now let's start without getting delayed. And the first coding interview question is: We have a string. And we need to display duplicate characters in it. Okay, let's start. First of all, we have a string, right? We need to convert them into characters. So we need to use this char. Char. What this char will do means it will return integer stream of integers. And I can simply say here we can observe it. It returns a stream of zero extending char values. As it is returning integer values, we need to convert it into char again. It will convert the string into int values. Okay, you can simply you can simply say stream of int values that extends char values. Now, as they are in int form, we need to convert them to char form again. Now, let me say collect here. Collect is a terminal operation, guys. In that, we need to use characters dot grouping by. This characters dot grouping by is similar to group by in SQL. We know right. In group by in SQL, we'll uh, group the values based on their name. For example, we need to group the uh, we need employee count based on some department like IT, HR. Okay, then what we'll do? We'll count uh, count those values based on the group by function. We'll say group by department. Similar to that, we we are using collector start grouping by here. So what happens here is when I'm using this. Collector dot grouping by function dot identity comma collector dot counting. It will create a map. In that map, it will store in the key. It will store the characters in the value. It will show the uh, number of uh, repetitions. I can say like for example, here we have a. It is repeated for two times. It will store in the form like key contains a and the value contains two. Okay, but I want to show you. Before printing duplicate characters in it, I want to show how it look like. Map character come along. Me say long. Map equal to switch out map. Let me rerun the application now. If you observe, we are getting it here, right? The it is uh, this code is grouping these values, grouping the characters, and adding the Count of number of times the character is repeated in the string. Okay, now what we need to do? Our goal is to print duplicate characters from this map. As it is a map, here we need to say entry set. Here we need to say stream dot filter. Here we need to filter the keys based on the values, guys. So if the particular value contains um, number greater than one, it means the particular key is a duplicate. Let me say for each. System dot out dot print ln. Sorry, I dot get key. Okay, now for on the application, I'll get the duplicate characters here. I hope you guys understood how this uh, logic works. Now let's go with the second question. And the second question is print the first repeating character in the given string. If you observe, here is the first repeating character in the given string. Initially, I'll write the code and then I'll explain, guys. Okay, let me say text dot cares. Sorry. Dot map to object. Now let me say filter. Let me try to create a set here first. Character filter set equal to new hash set. Let me say. Filter set dot add i okay and add a limit one dot for each or oh, dot print ln here I'm using method reference let me run the application we'll get the result as here okay okay sorry my bad mm, what's the problem yeah sorry here I need to add not. You'll get the result. Here. So now I'll explain the logic. 
and you guys know about this logic right we are converting string to cas here we are utilizing the set here for filtering the first uh, repetitive character we know about the set right it will not allow duplicate elements it will just add distinct element into it so here what we are doing means we are just trying to check whether the element is successfully added or not whenever we try to add an element to this set we, it will return a boolean result guys it means for first five elements m a k e r the set will be uh, the elements will be added successfully so it will return true only and uh, as we are saying not here the predicate will be not successful when it says come to the sixth character a the element will be not added right it will return false as we return not condition it will return true and here the reason for adding limit is if i not added this limit i'll get all the duplicate elements guys i'll just show you see here we are getting all the duplicate elements so that is the reason i have added this limit okay and uh, here i'm just trying to print the element now you may ask me in the previous question you have used collectors dot grouping by and map and all stuff right why don't you add this uh, why don't you utilize the same logic there also the reason is sometimes uh, the interviewers will ask us to print the count also okay that, that is the main reason sometimes uh, they say i need elements which repeated for more than three times so you need to know that way of writing that kind of logic right so that i have explained it i hope you guys understand please subscribe for more videos